What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how much I earned on eBay in 2021. Now, once I share the final net profit for this past year, you might think that was not a whole lot of money whenever I take into account the shipping, the fees, and what I paid to acquire the items in the first place compared to what the overall sales was. But you have to remember, my eBay sales is just a very small portion of my reselling business. Most of my sales come from Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, and other sites like that where I just do e-transfers and it's not through eBay so I don't have to pay the fees and they don't do anything like that so eBay is separate from everything else this is probably less than 10% of my overall income this past year with the reselling business so whenever you see these numbers you might think they're really low but this past year has been my best year for eBay back in about the summer of 2021 is whenever I really started the business and started to buy more comics, video games, different locks like that and make a lot of profit. And with that, this past couple months have been really growing and I know 2022 I have a shipment, a supplier of video games that hopefully is gonna work out and I'm gonna have a lot more video games and different things like that's coming and a lot more sales to be generated through that way as well. So I'm really excited for this next year, but let's just get into my sales for 2021. First, my best month for sales this past year was December. The Christmas rush for me was insane. 660 plus dollars in sales. The second place month was March with $610 in sales. So that was a great month. Uh, December definitely was the best month because of Christmas and New Year's, New Year's week not including just eBay, just everything for the business was about a $700 to $800 a week alone, not eBay. A lot of that was sold locally, not too much was sold New Year's week on eBay. Now let's just get into the breakdown for the whole year. My total sales, which is the items that sold plus the shipping that was paid, is $3,224.50. The expenses, which is my shipping materials box, for example, boxes, bubble wrap, things like that, was $211.50, which I have a ton of boxes, bubble wrap, I have a ton of shipping materials left. So this next year, 2022, I might not have to claim any expenses whenever it comes time to taxes, because I might not have to get anything for shipping material wise. Cost of items, so this is what the items cost me, plus what shipping cost me for all of the sales is $1,167.53. So with that all being said, now we do have the fees for the year, which is high for some people, but you have to remember it's most of the time 12 to 14 percent depending on the items that's also if you don't do a promotional uh, percentage as well which ebay will get a portion of that as well so fees for the years that i did pay 466 dollars and 96 cents just shy of 500 dollars in fees now the fees for ebay is what scares most people away for me they don't because my net profit this past year whenever i take into account the three thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars in sales minus the two hundred and eleven dollars in expenses the one thousand one hundred and sixty seven dollars in the cost of the items and the 466 in fees leaves me with one thousand three hundred seventy eight dollars and fifty one cents total net profit sold on ebay this past year so for 13 almost 1400 dollars profit this past year a lot of people might think that wasn't worth it for me i do because my ebay sales like i said are maybe one tenth of my overall sales for my reselling business i sell most of my stuff on facebook marketplace kijiji and other sites ebay is just one of those sites that i do use and that's because of the eBay fees. So if something locally I might sell for $25, but on eBay I might be able to get $50 plus dollars, I'm likely gonna list it on eBay. Even if I pay the fees, I made more profit doing that. And that's usually what I'd use eBay for. I don't have all of my inventory on eBay because a lot of it does sell better uh, locally. I don't have to pay fees, I don't have to pay shipping. Or if I do pay shipping, it's just flat out. I don't get charged. Uh, fees on top of the shipping. That's one thing with eBay. It's not only what the item sold for, but you also pay fees on the shipping that the uh, buyer had to pay as well. So this past year, just shy of $1,400. To me, that is my best year. 
And to me, that is a great year because that's not the overall profit for my business. That's just what I sold on eBay and I'm more than happy for that. It is profit, profit is profit, and I'm more than happy with $1,400 profits in my pocket at the end of the year. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. eBay definitely is growing. 2022, I have a lot more games, uh, DS games, Game Boy Advance games, some AirPods that are on the way as well, and a lot more stuff that's what I bought cost me just shy of $500 and there's about $5,000 worth of sales if everything sells uh, where I want it to price wise, it should be about $5,000. So this next year, 2022 is gonna be an amazing year and I can't wait to share that with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.